As I've been teaching here over eight years, I see students more and more in technology, in their headphones, on their phones, and I think young people are very saturated in media and in so much violence right now or what happened in your neighborhood or what you saw in the news that is really disturbing you. And that's a lot to carry around all the time. That's one really special thing about the Washburn Black Bucks acting program. That weight that we all carry based on different things, I think it alleviates some of that weight, whether you're writing a poem or creating a scene. It's a way to process some of that, um, just stuff that you're taking in and dealing with. up today and I want you to think of one line um, that you say anywhere in the performance. So you're gonna say your line with a movement and emotion. Class will repeat it back. There are no excuses. There are no excuses. I'm a black queen. I'm a black queen. I love you. I love you. This is your third time this week. This, this is your third time this week. I started this program in 2008, and what it is, it's a social justice theater program that's based in youth voice. So all the work that we create here is original. It's the characters, the poems, the stories, the scenarios, the topics are all generated from the students. Behind my badge, I see someone who is disturbing the peace. I want no commotion when I'm around. You're just a police with a badge and suit, abusing your authority. That's all you police do. All the work that we create in this class is based in issues going on in the community, in the world, in our school, in our homes, in our personal lives. It's social justice in the fact that it might be about a community issue, it might be about something going on in education or something going on at Washburn. And it's also social justice in the fact that it's a youth voice on stage, a voice that's not always heard, a voice that doesn't always feel heard. Dear white America, a black man in the White House doesn't put an end to racism. Jim Crow laws are still around just as you intended them to be. Your oppressive system won't keep us on the ground. We will still keep rising. Dear white America, we don't want, want you to ignore our color. We need you to respect it. You learn a lot of things in theater class. You learn a lot about different people and like their backgrounds. Before I came to the United States, I was oblivious to everything that was going on in the world. I didn't know about the issues black people face because I was in an African country and I never had to be insecure about my skin. Welcome to class today, everybody. What is this class anyway? Everybody's not white. 101. You just feel safe. It's just a feeling you get. For me, it just took a few weeks my freshman year and I was sitting there writing pieces on social justice issues I didn't even know existed a few months before. So we're just gonna now hear some feedback and hear some response. On special cases when somebody like Jan Mandel or Mary McClinton is here, they give us feedback. I wanted you to look out at me in the audience. Like, I wanted to see you talking to me mm -hmm. because you look anywhere else but at the audience. I personally, and you can judge on that, would like to connect with who we are out here. I am mentored and have been mentored by Jan Mandel, and I was an intern in her program for about five years. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be here, and this whole program wouldn't be here. It's an awesome feeling coming to Crystal's class, seeing that this work is continuing on. The only thing that took me out of it was when people went like this. Mm -hmm. yeah. I need your eyes. Jan and Marion are just, they're my mentors. And I think because Jan has been in my shoes, she knows how much support it takes. I hear what you're saying. The thing is also, if we show 10 or 15 minutes at Patrick's Cabaret of something really good, that's fine. So don't worry about, oh, the other things aren't gonna look as strong. If they're not as strong, you guys are together for a year. You guys go on tour and you get to perform 30 times. Theater two gets to perform twice. I think it's an experience for the students to get up in front of people and like have that be something they did, right? I got up in front of, 15 different audiences and perform this play that I wrote. That's a really unique thing that a lot of people have never done. I will remember. I will remember. Why I tell my story. Why I tell my story. Is to speak the truth. Is to speak the truth. I freestyled that. Yeah. Theater two, that experience culminates in a performance on a professional stage like Pillsbury House Theater or Patrick's Cabaret. Theater three, I mean, the whole year they spend working on this play and they tour citywide and also statewide. Everything that you're gonna see on stage tonight is created, um, derived, and developed by the youth that you see um, up here right now. So, and if you feel something um, while you're watching, we love snaps to know that you feel it, that you're with us. This is not like a silent experience. Feel free to make noise, laugh, cry, um, voice what you feel and what you see. 
Tonight, our Black Box Theater performance, it's basically just a performance of Theater 2 and Theater 3 talking about social justice issues and putting their art into play and just trying to spread awareness and just have voices be heard for the community. Every day I watch over my children. I watch them struggle. I see the blood of my children spilled by those who took freedom from me. I fought for that freedom so that my children may never know the pain of a lash or the rattle of iron chains. As an actor, I like to be able to see, you know, the emotion and being able to look into somebody's eyes and, and see that change in them and see, see how it affects them and really to, to feel that connection. Did you know that my mama taught me to never lay a finger on someone? She said if someone hurts you, even if it's a deep wound, just forgive them. Tell me how that makes me a terrorist. Me and my mom, we talk about this all the time, but she's like, what can we do, you know? We just have to like live life. There's nothing we can do about it. But I would like to think there's something I can do about it. And so I'm doing something about it now. I'm smart, I'm honest, I'm kind. Having autism is my strength, not my weakness. What haunts most people in their past, in this class, they use it as fuel. I mean, this is like serious business. And my motto is either you in, or you're out. We don't want to get picked on. We just want freedom. We don't want to get beat up for no reasons. We just need freedom. It's a class to come to, to just get out all your feelings, just to express yourself. And no one would judge you. When will this vicious cycle end? When will I finally cease to tremble with fear when my little brother goes outside to roam waiting to hear that he will never come home? When will I cease to feel the need to cage him in my arms and never let him go, forever shielding him from the world, the storm? When you perform, it's like something takes over you. And it's, it's so hard to explain, but it's, it's a very spiritual experience, at least for me. We can make the world a better place. If you let us survive to see tomorrow. I felt really good afterwards. It just kind of was a moment where we were like, whoa, we just did that. Like, that was so tight. It was nice to get feedback from people who don't come into the class and don't come to help out frequently, but yeah, it was a great feeling. Thank you so much. We're honored to be at North High School and we're really excited to be here to perform today. So we're gonna present our play to you, Untold Stories. Can you give us a three, two, one, action? Three, two, one, action! Oh man, I'm so angry. The Black Box Theater, it's a gift for us to be able to speak our truth and have people actually listen. It's just a healing place. You won't get this anywhere else, and you won't get Miss Spring anywhere else. I can't imagine a life without this work. It's so fueling and fulfilling, and I mean, I think students walk away feeling really proud and accomplished. 